Oh, it's cold outside. Put a sore chest or you going skiing? <laughs> Don't fear my car hearts because you have skinny jeans on. Look at that down gets pinched when I have it like that. I know. So the first thing we need to do is we need to lay out and measure how long the stanch is going to be because I know as we come this way, the ground comes up. So it's going to be shorter, getting closer and closer to the ground. Yeah. So we may need to lay it out that way and then go on the other opposite side and go that way too. But first we got to lay this side out okay. to make sure it works. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Okay. We are starting the build for the solar stanchion today. So we rented a skid steer right here with a 12 inch auger on it. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is drill the holes for the steel pipe. Then once the pipe is placed, everything is plumb and the concrete has set up, we're gonna be able to start installing the panels, 20 of which <laughs> we have to add on to this already existing stanchion. Over here, bud. Right there. Right there. Not right here. These old panels are the same size as the new panels, and the four rows of these are 26 and a half feet. So we're actually gonna rearrange the way this array is to match the new array, because we're actually gonna go four tall and five long the array is. So this old array we have here is actually three tall, four long, so we're gonna flip-flop them. And we're actually gonna go four tall, three long this way. So, that being said, one of the new panels is gonna sit in this location. So, Four wide is 26 and a half feet. One new row goes here, so we need to go 26 and a half feet from here out. If we can make that work with this portion not being low to the ground as the, as the land comes down this way, we're gonna take the entire thing that way. That wind. You want a stick on it too. That wind is just bad today. All right, so here's a pencil. Aaron, you remember to bring the pencil? Give a marker. Got a pen. Ooh, so? It is so cold out here. I My know. hands hurt. I know. It's not gonna get any warmer either. Just say, just, just say now. Where? Where? So I wore my snowsuit. <laughs> Let's do a rough comparison where we're at real fast. We're gonna measure when we lift this up until it starts beeping flat. And it's good. And we'll measure from the bottom of the stick down to see what the difference is. And where the difference is, we can take that difference and put it on this and see how far we're off the ground. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, Carter, come here, guy. That's 22 inches. Cameras are not meant to be on construction sites, <laughs> especially with wind on construction sites. Phone right three or four times today. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not what Sony made these for. We're going to put another stance in here and here. Okay. So be in the center. 
Yeah. Versus having having it be an eyeball in the center here. I agree. Right? Yeah. Six holes. Let's start drilling. means that we're going to get down between three and four feet. Hey, is that hydraulic line supposed to be like that? It's off. I got it's off. It came off. Is it tied at? Where's the hook at? Probably right in here. Take this off. That's the problem that is. That down gets pinched when I have it like that. I know. Yeah, it shouldn't be that tight. It was. Glad you caught that. Where they had it back down there, this is pulling tight, so you could have had a bad day. <laughs> could have. This cup right here is leaking like a sieve. Too bad to crank it down and tighten it up. It's too loose. I noticed that the hydraulic line was wrapped around where you would like attach the bucket to. Um, so I, I wasn't sure if that was correct or not, so I just kind of shouted it out to Josh just so he could get some eyes on it since he knows better than I do. And um, it was definitely too tight and in the wrong spot. And the last thing we need is for a hydraulic line to bust because not only is that going to be expensive to fix, but it is going to be very time consuming and we only have this machine for today. Hope that works. So, this time is going so much faster. Yes. So we got five of the six holes done. So we're almost done unless we hit that line right there. <laughs> Thank. We dodged one bullet so far with the hydraulic line. Now we need to we're, dodge another one. We're close. I can, I can see where the ditch is at. Um, I tracked it and I didn't really use a tamper, but in my field it didn't really matter. So I can see the little dent indention. I can see where there's no grass and where there's grass. I'm right next to it. So we should be fine. Yes, and just for a little bit of reference, he's talking about the lines that are running from the solar panels that we had trenched in when we initially yes. installed them. They run all the way up through here. To the powerhouse. To the powerhouse, so. No size properly for a voltage job. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't a question, that's why I just said it. But, I'm a little nervous. 
doing it in this you, one. You got it. You'll be fine. I, I, I yeah, no, I'm just worried about pulling that wire, hitting that line and pulling the wire out. It shouldn't, it's close. If it was a utility, I wouldn't be doing it. Right. But it's my line. Yeah. I own it. So if we mess something up, we fix it. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll it's deal not, with it. It's not a big deal. But if it was a utility or something like that, I'd be in big trouble. Yeah. Have Miss Utility out here doing all that stuff and uh, be, a, be a massive ordeal. Luckily, this time Josh called me before he started digging. Yeah, the, the uh, snow bunny over here. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous because I dressed properly for the weather, Josh. I'm cold. I have no, I have no car hearts on. Well, you know, I mean, he's not a professional like me, guys. You know, I'm used to working out in this weather. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> <laughs> So we're, we're like 12 inches close. You can see I'm actually standing on the ditch right here. And then it comes this way and then I'm like that far from the ditch. So we're really close. I mean, it's, it's, it's a close call. I think it's not close enough for me to dig it by hand. It's not that close. It's mine. <laughs> so. And I'm not digging it by hand. <laughs> Hold it way down. Oh, if we hit it, we are digging it up by hand. Yes, <laughs> that's going to happen. <laughs> I'm a machine for it. So we're going to go ahead. I think it's, it's, it's worth it. What do you think? Yeah, give it a shot. You I like. Mean, I, you know what we could do and should do to warm up real quick. I can get you to pothole this right here in the trench and find that uh, the electrical pipe. I'm not cold. You're the one that's cold. So that sounds like a great plan for you, Josh. It's not fair. <laughs> I like to live on the edge, Josh. Let's do it, baby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna be kicking myself in the if uh, I hit that line. Let's do it. I'm feeling lucky. This is Josh's nervous face. <laughs> Do it, right? Good enough. Yeah. We're good to go on that. We didn't hit that line. Very, very lucky. It was worth the risk, I think. I agree. You agree? Yeah. So I didn't think I didn't think we're gonna hit it, but but there was a chance. <laughs> there was a chance we could hit it, we didn't, so we're good. that I uh, have a PhD or we probably wouldn't be capable of doing the things that we do out here. You know, Josh? PhD in what? <laughs> Didn't have a PhD. Hi. Oh, I... A post hole digger, Josh. Hey. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> Four. How you doing? I think I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Right there. Okay. 46. Did you get a pen? No. <laughs> We got all of the holes drilled and then we went through, cleaned them all out and measured to see what lengths of galvanized pipe we we're gonna need. So we're getting ready to start cutting those. Yeah, so we have galvanized pipe that goes into the ground to, to help from rust. And we actually have the black steel pipe that goes across horizontal. Um, we don't really, don't really anticipate that um, rusting nearly as bad as going to the ground. And plus it's a big cost saver for us doing it that way versus uh, all galvanized. It's very, very expensive when it's all galvanized. Yes, but we did get black paint. Yes. So everything's going to match. So yep. you're gonna see us cutting silver pipe, but that's not the way that it's gonna look when it's in the ground. It's black and said and done. But all match. Yeah. Thank you. 
we got our stanchion pipe cut to the proper length, um, this entire thing, when it's all said and done, is going to be a little bit over 50 feet long. If you look at that front corner right there, it's probably roughly five feet off the ground. As the grade slopes down, or slopes up that way, it goes that way, um, we're going to be roughly 12 inches off the ground on this front corner right there. It's going to be fine. The biggest issue we could have is snow, but we don't get that big of snowfalls here. Um, it melts within a few days, and Aaron has a broom. She's going to brush things off us. Not, <laughs> yeah, so it's not right. a, <laughs> So it's really not that big of a deal. So we're actually gonna be in a better situation when we start doing these stanchions, getting them vertical versus doing the original ones because uh, you guys remember, we had to get everything up and plumb and then pretty much brace in all corners and poured. Uh, now, since we're gonna attach everything, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna weld the new stanchion horizontal pipes to the existing horizontal stanchion. So once we get that portion up, it should be all nice and tight together, so it'll be a lot easier, I think, to get everything plumb and getting everything put in the right location. Here he comes. <laughs> Leon, we got room for you. Don't worry. 